Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Dewan. There's been many changes within Cisco in regards to their certifications. Today, I have the CTO and founder of Cisco DevNet, Susie Wee, here on our channel to discuss those recent changes, specifically within Cisco DevNet. DevNet has added an entire certification track that's focused on software developers and infrastructure engineers like myself. I'm excited for you all to hear this interview. With no further ado, what's up, Susie? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Doing well. Great to see you again. Hey, it's great to see you as well. <laughs> There's been a lot of changes here in the Cisco community. There have, there have, and we're hoping that um, our networkers in the world, our developers in the world are excited about it. Scared perhaps, but excited as well. Yes, there's probably a healthy amount of fear going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, Susie, I know we had an interview before here on YouTube, and if you, you all haven't seen it, please feel free to click the link in the description where Susie talks about our background um, at Cisco Live Barcelona. But Susie, you are the CTO of DevNet, correct? That's right. That's right. Founded DevNet about five years ago. We're now five years into it, and we're excited to take our community to that next level. Y yes, five years. Um, not too long ago, I used DevNet to get a certification and to learn some skills like ACI, Prime, Nexus. There's a lot of different resources that you all offer. Absolutely. Okay, with the recent changes, you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah, sure. So, you know, we are super excited. So what happens is with DevNet, what we knew is we said five years ago, we're like, all right, what's really important is that networking is changing. And with networking, along comes uh, the new network. It has software capabilities to really make the most of what the network can do. Our people need some software skills. And so uh, we're really excited today because what we know is that our networkers do a lot of learning through certifications. Uh, they work really hard to earn their CCNAs, their CCNPs, their CCIEs. They put tremendous work into it. And the thing that we just announced is that we are introducing new DevNet certifications. So we have a DevNet Associate certification, a DevNet Professional certification. We have technical concentrations that will give you a DevNet Specialist certification as well. And these can be mix and matched, and they can actually work together with your CCNA, CCNP, your CCIEs, um, to basically really make you the best professional that you can be and give you the skills that you need to make the most of all the technology that we have. That's awesome. I've heard about this news. I've been talked to a lot of people about it. But I, I would like to know, who are the, the DevNet certifications specifically geared towards? Yeah. So what happens is, the DevNet certifications are complementary to, you know, the Cisco CCIE, CCNE, CCNP, and CCNA certifications. Um, and what happens is they represent a set of certifications, and they are geared for both networkers and software developers. Hmm. So, uh, so of course, they welcome software developers into our workforce. Uh, you know, kind of bring it all on. What we know is that not all software developers are created the same. Like right. it's one thing to say, I know how to create a mobile app. It's another thing to say, I know how to write applications uh, that will automate networks. Right. Or I know how to write applications, IoT applications that will work well on top of a network. So there is a part of the DevNet, uh, I mean, certainly the DevNet Associate and DevNet Professional certifications are for software developers, but they're also very much for our networkers. Because our networkers, you know, in addition to having those infrastructure skills and expertise, there's some amount of software skills and expertise that they need as well. And so these DevNet certifications are also for our networkers to pick up the software skills that they need and to be able to say, hey, I know about this. I'm qualified. I have learned. I have certified myself. I've earned that certification that I not only, I'm not only a kick-ass networker, you know, data center expert, security expert, but I also have software capabilities as well. Yes. Like, for instance, you mentioned like data center, data center with ACI and network programmability. And now most of the Cisco devices you can communicate through APIs is yes. changing. 
How will the DevNet certs align with the infrastructure certs when it comes to something like data center? Yes, that's a great example. So basically what happens is um, to be an awesome data center professional, uh, then what you need to do is you could become a CCNP in data center. Okay, so then there's going to be a CCNP core exam that you can take uh, right. for data center. Uh, and then you need two technology concentrations. Hmm. So in addition to passing the core exam, you have two technology concentrations. And you can earn a Cisco certified specialist technology concentration, or you can earn a DevNet specialist technology concentration. You need any two to earn that CCNP. Okay. So, for example, you could jump in and learn about ACI fundamentals, you know, to, you know, in addition to your CCNP professional core exam. Uh, but also, you could take data center programmability and automation. Uh, that one actually counts both towards your CCNP, you know, or towards your DevNet professional. And that's actually a DevNet specialist. And so it's a good example of where you'd want to actually combine your infrastructure engineering knowledge together with your software knowledge, and you'd mix and match them, and they count towards your CCNP. That's exciting. And, and being someone that has utilized DevNet to achieve certifications and learn different job skills, Will you provide um, resources to help people achieve those new DevNet certifications on DevNet? Absolutely. So if you go to developer.cisco.com slash certification, you'll be able to see all about the DevNet certifications, and you can get to them also on the Learning at Cisco and the Cisco.com sites as well. Um, but if you go to the DevNet, uh, developer.cisco.com slash certification page, you can get in and learn about each of those certifications. You can take a look at the exam topics, and right along the exam topic, which you'll see on the left side, on the right side, what you'll see is the list of DevNet resources, free DevNet resources that can help you learn about those areas. Um, so those are available on the site today, so people can go over there and just start learning to prepare for these for these exams. The exams are going to be available in February. Um, between now and February, in addition to the free content, we're also going to add some paid for content. You know, right. both, uh, you know, through the learning program, both through DevNet as well, where people can pay to get, you know, also a, another even more complete uh, set of learning resources for them. Uh, but those are going to coexist alongside the free resources as well. I'm excited um, for several reasons. One of the main reasons is that these new skills are, are really going to help network engineers stand out. I don't think a lot of them are... are are aware of the change that's going on because if you're in an organization that has not implemented ACI, is not utilizing um, network programmability, you don't see it. So that's where some of the fear comes along. But being able to use a resource like DevNet will help people, okay, this is what's out there, and if change does happen, they'll be prepared for it. So that's awesome. Yeah, and it's pretty, it's pretty interesting to look at. So what happened is, like, over the last five years, we have a set of people who've jumped in, have jumped into DevNet, and they said, you know, I'm a networker, I'm awesome at that, I know it's important for me to learn about software. So, like what you said you did, right? So, do right. I, you already went through and used DevNet resources to get into that, to right. understand like, APIs for data center. Um, some people have not made that jump yet, and it's scary, right? So, quite honestly, yes. people are like, all right, I think I need to learn about this, I'm scared, I'm an expert at what I do. But there's something new in town. There's some new software skills. There's APIs, and right. I haven't done it yet. So what happened was we announced this at Cisco Live a couple weeks ago. Um, the community was both scared and excited <laughs> because what happens is, okay, now we're saying, you know what? First of all, we have the most kick-ass community in the world. Like, we right. have an amazing community. Like, our folks who are earning their certification – they're masters at data center, networking, security, right? So they're in all of these areas. And now what we're doing is we're giving them a path to add software skills to in the way they know. Like, you guys have worked so hard to earn your certification. You're doing your training. You're exercising your brain. You're building up those skills. You can keep these, you know, really, really important systems going. And we're using that same path that you use to learn all of the hard stuff that you've learned to also learn about software. 
Right. And so that's where it's exciting is we're putting it into the framework that you've already mastered so that you can also add on those software skills. So people who haven't started yet, I would say, don't worry. It's not too late. Now is the time to jump in. Um, and so we're giving you a path to do it in the way that you're familiar with. Right. And you also have the DevNet um, Start Now for yeah. those that have not started. I'll put a link for that in the description as well. Yeah, and start now. So you can yes. get in and get something in. Yeah. yeah, and now people who are advanced, um, I don't know if you heard, so we also talked about the DevNet Automation Exchange. Um, so if you go to developer.cisco.com slash automation, what you'll find there is that we actually have free source code that's available. Uh. For so it's one thing to say, hey, here's API APIs. You know, here are DNA Center APIs. Here's NXOS, you know, iOS XD. But it's another thing to say, all right, you can use those. And here's some free source code on top of it that show you how to gather telemetry and insight from those. So we actually nice. have source code that's out there. Um, once you start to feel comfortable, you can, first of all, use that code, but you could also contribute code back and submit it for the rest of the community to use. So, so it's like a repository. It is. It's a repository code on GitHub, but we've curated it, so we're looking it over, making okay. sure it has the licenses so the community can use it make sure it uses the most up-to-date APIs and everything there. So we're just curating code out on GitHub. And really what we want to do is we want to make you guys shine. We want to yes. get your code out there. Your name will stay on it. If you earn your certifications, we're going to put your certification right next to your name on there, even your company name. Uh, and then and recognize and have it be a place where you guys are solving really important problems. What you can do is the code that you choose to share, you can post it on there for other people to use. And we're hoping like this will be a resource for you. Yes, I like that. I think I'm going to join that myself so I can um, put some code up to get re uh, reviewed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That's cool. Now, we talked about network engineers that are in the field and that may fear the change. What about someone that's looking to get in IT? Should they start on the infrastructure side or should they start on the DevNet side? <laughs> it's really up to them. So, uh, yeah. and the whole thing is that we're providing options. Okay. Right? So, if in your heart, you are, you know, driven to be a networker. You're just like, that is really appealing to me. Then, yeah, start with your CCNA. Um, if you're, uh, you know, but also, I'd almost encourage you to do both. Like, if you're like, I want to be a software developer, go ahead, get your DevNet associate. Mm -hmm. If you're inclined, get both. Like, if you get both, you are going to be the master because you're going to have your networking fundamentals down. You are going to have your software development fundamentals down. Um, so you could get both as well. Right. So really, and the way that we've looked at it is the CCNA is like 80% networking and 20% software. So you do learn some software when you're in there. Right. The DevNet associate is 80% software, 20% networking. So you have a little bit of networking there. And then what happens is people who are more inclined towards software, more we want and or more inclined towards networking, we want them to be able to work together. And by doing that, they'll have a language in which they can work together. And we believe that's how you'll make the most progress because it's about how you work together, and you know how a networker could really work together with a coder. You know, who's right. developing software. It's more important that you work together as a team. It's not important that everybody, I mean, it's great if someone has all the skills, but it's more important that you can speak the same language to solve problems together. That's a great point. It's a great test. Thank you, Susie. What what I find so cool about this is that, you know, I've been a big Cisco fanboy forever. And <laughs> <laughs> one of the things that I used, that I was told by, uh, one of my mentors a long, long time ago was that Cisco was a software company first. And it seems that Cisco is actually getting back to their roots of what they actually do best is their software. And I think it's cool. It is. And really what happens is we are so thankful for our community, you know, for you, for your community, uh, because you guys have invested in Cisco. And what we want to make sure is that, you know, that investment so far, I believe it's paid off for you. You know, yes. I hope it's paid off for you. Cisco hopes it's paid off for you both individually in your career as a professional as well as for your companies and in business as well. 
And what we're hoping is that with this, we are preparing you to continue to be leaders for the next decade, 10, 20, 25 years. You know, so by doing this, we want to give you the skills so that you can make the most of the new technology, so you can continue to take your customers and lead them into the cloud era, you know, make them embrace mobility, get them into DevOps and CICD, make sure that that network is primary to everything that they're doing. So we're really hoping that we're just, you know, again, being very thankful of all the investment that you've made, and we want to make sure that it just keeps you as a leader in your field. For sure, for sure. I think if people embrace the change that's going on now, they're gonna be they're gonna be fine. You know? Yeah. So. They are, they are. And that's the key is I know it's scary at first, um, but you jump in and you just do it. And I sh- and I'll say one more thing. It's easier than everything that you've done before. Hmm. Like all of the hard work that people have put in to learn about networking, to learn about security, to learn about data center. To do all that technical work to keep these systems aligned, to architect right. them, you know, all of that, that was really hard technical work. Yes. The software step, like to get that DevNet associate, it's going to be easy compared to that. But you just need to get over it and get into it. And then what you'll see is, oh, I can totally do this. <laughs> that, <Anyway>. that's, <laughs> that's true. Um, we have a, a, a automation team at, at my job. One of the things they look for is people that have a strong foundation in networking because their mentality is that they can teach someone to code, but it's going to take a long time to teach somebody networking. So I get what you're saying totally. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the whole thing is that before there was this kind of fear or um, there was a thought that, you know what, you don't need networkers because it's all going to be so easy and all you need are software developers. Right. I don't believe in that. I believe that what we need is a combination of network expertise plus software expertise that can work together. Right. And, um, you know, and the people that I've spoken to, they can't have just a pure software developer take care of a mission critical network infrastructure. Right. So they need that combination of skills as well. And what we're hoping is that these new certifications really highlight the fact that you need both of these skills, but they need to work together. Right. Right, because uh, I know we have to get out of here, but with a lot of organizations um, implementing DevOps and infrastructure as code, you know, that that code review is really becoming something where everybody's pushing code to the GitLab and GitHub's, you know, whether it's on the infrastructure side or the development side, so. It is. In that whole world of, you know, using Git, of sharing code, of getting to network as code or infrastructure as code, um, that is your world too. Like right. networkers, that's your world. That's not someone else's world. That's your world. And we're helping you to get into that. For sure. um, and just the other thing is, you know, being in DevOps practices, you know, doing infrastructure as code, this is all new, quite honestly. Right. So, you know, people are figuring it out. Just like when we built the first network, people were figuring it out. We are figuring it out. This whole world is something that's just fresh for us to get into. And uh, people who have those networking, operational skills, that's key. Like, as you figure out DevOps, development, and operations, yes. like, we have operations like you couldn't believe. Uh, and this is, a new, this is new territory, and I believe that our community can be leaders in it. So this I is agree. Why we put together these new certifications. That's cool. Hey, Susie, I really enjoyed this interview. <laughs> I always love talking to you and to your community. Thank you, Dwan. Yes, thank you as well. Um, all the links and information that you shared for DevNet, I'm going to leave in the comment section or the description of this video. So if you all got comments or questions for Susie, please feel free to leave them in the, in the comment section below. Thank you, Susie. Thank you so much. Take care. Yep.